birds are weird. They come in some crazy shapes and sizes, and today's subjects are no exception. There are three species of umbrella birds. First are the bare neck umbrella birds. These birds have a bright red, featherless patch on their necks and chests. This is very noticeable in males, though less conspicuous in females. Bare-necked umbrella birds are sometimes confused with a similar-looking bird called the purple-throated fruit crow, but they aren't related. This species of umbrella bird is considered endangered, and we'll be discussing threats to their survival later in this episode. Next is the Amazonian umbrella bird, who has the largest range of any of the three species. I'm sure you can put together where they live based on their name. This species is listed as least concern, though it's believed their populations may be declining. These birds are all black and have wattles that hang from their throats, but these wattles are nothing compared to the wattles found in the final umbrella bird species. The long wattled umbrella bird is aptly named. A male's wattle may reach nearly a foot in length when fully extended. This wattle is used to amplify a male's voice when he's attempting to attract the attention of a female. This wattle, however, can be retracted when it's not in use, such as when the bird is flying. The wattle is covered in scale-like feathers, and the bird can puff these up, making the wattle look like a dangling black pine cone from his throat. Female umbrella birds have wattles too, but their wattles don't reach the size of the males. Long wattled umbrella birds are considered vulnerable to extinction. Umbrella birds in general look somewhat like crows going through a permanent emo phase, with their black plumage and floofy, eye-covering head feathers. Females have this similar headgear, though it's not as prominent for them. Umbrella birds are about the same size as crows, too, though females are smaller than the males. Umbrella birds live in northern South America and parts of Central America. All three species suffer from habitat loss. These birds spend their breeding months in protected highland areas, but spend the rest of the year in lowland habitats, which remain largely unprotected from deforestation. Umbrella birds are tropical birds and spend a lot of time perched in the forest midstory, dense understory, or canopy, so they need trees to survive. They're susceptible to large birds of prey, monkeys, and snakes, and they aren't the best flyers. Umbrella birds would rather hop between tree branches than go great distances to fly. They're typically quiet birds, but they can raise some noise during the breeding season, which typically lasts from March to September depending on their location. During this time, male umbrella birds gather together in display areas, called leks, and will let out loud, low calls that some have described as similar to a didgeridoo. There are few observations of nesting behaviors in umbrella birds, but it's currently believed that the female constructs the nest, lays a single egg, and incubates the egg for approximately 25 days. When the baby hatches, it's fed a diet similar to its parents, which includes a lot of fruit, as well as insects, other arthropods, lizards, and frogs. For more facts on umbrella birds, check out the links in the description. Thank you to John O. Martin, Ahmed Kiran, and Sirmin Kiran for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.